Hey, it's Tim Pierce. I'm here for Blackstar, and we're going to check out the EL34 Studio 10. It's right here in front of me. So this amp feels right-sized to me, um, and it feels kind of very late 60s Clapton-esque to me when I, pretty much everything I do on it, which is basically probably one of my three or four <laughs> guitar heroes. So you guys obviously have thought of just how this amp would sound with no tone controls. I mean, picture that. Picture this thing with no knobs. This is what you'd get. And one of the things I always say is if you have to negotiate with an amp to make it sound good, there's, you're never, ever going to get, well, you might get something out of it, but the amps, I can tell when an amp sounds good while it's heating up. You know, I turned it on. I was waiting for it to heat up. And when I heard that just little faint thing starting, I thought, oh, this is going to be good. So this is basically how the amp sounds with everything just wide open. Now, because it's the clean channel, I would clean it up by turning down the volume on the guitar. So if I turn down the volume to seven and use the bass pickup, voila, I have clean. And then if you'll allow me, I'll put the reverb back on because I'm addicted to reverb. Reverb sounds good on this. Although that's good. That would record well. But it's still a little bit below where the amp begins to bloom and, and come alive. So let me. Switched over to the bridge pickup, which can sound nasally, and it doesn't on this amp. That's something, that's a benefit. Also, the bottom end is tight. It also has that squawk that I love. You hear that little bit of squawk when it's on the low note? It seems very British to me. I'm going to push it a little further, probably maybe past its sweet spot. It's still good. Now, a lot of my amps at home are stadium loud or jet engine loud, like a 100 watt Marshall or some of the other stuff I have. Because I'm always recording, that's never a problem. The stadium loud cabinet is in a vault far away from where I am. So this is nice because you could probably put it in a closet at home and then you could probably just carry it with you to the gig, mic it up. Um, I was talking to my friends about this lately. We we're tired of carrying heavy amps. So I, I look for stuff like this that you could just pick up and carry. I'd probably want two of them. In fact, I may try and leave with two of them if I can. I don't think it'll let me, but. <laughs> 